Since I've been away, you guys may have noticed that the style of the channel has changed a little bit, and that's because I'm experimenting with new things. I wanna make it fresh for me and more interesting for me and hopefully also for you. So I've introduced Megan, who's helping me shoot and edit. We're ironing through some kinks there, trying to figure out what works. But don't worry, the everyday carry content's not going anywhere. Nothing's really changing as far as what I'll be talking about. I'm just adding additional stuff. The EDC Weekly's not going anywhere. I'm still gonna be showing you all the cool new products that are coming out in the everyday carry world, but I'm adding another element to what I do because I've wanted to do it for as long as I can remember. And that is over on my other channel, just simply Taylor Martin. Uh, what you're about to see in this video is not everything that the new channel or old channel will be about, but it is indicative of what you can expect on that channel moving forward. But there is so much more that I'm not quite ready to share with you guys. So, so just stay tuned. And if you wanna see what all of that is about, what I'm talking about, just subscribe to the other channel. Which I highly encourage you to do. Go subscribe to my other channel. It's Taylor Martin. I know that the content has been very sporadic over there, but this year I have a massive plan to fix that. And if you wanna see what that's all about, just subscribe. It's linked down below. It's in one of the corners here, or you can just search Taylor Martin here on YouTube. That's all for now. Uh, enjoy the video. I sort of, I did a thing, okay? I was talking about it on the podcast on Friday or the Friday Night Live, uh, but I just pulled the trigger on a new Land Rover. Come here. Jordan, stop hiding behind the air conditioner. This is a guy who talked me into it. I was really hesitant, and then he's like, you need a Land Rover. They are bomb-proof. They don't have any electrical issues. They're great. <laughs> oh, that's pretty accurate, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how it went down. It's in, it's in the ballpark. Well, there she is. We're, we'll take a look at her a little later. Her? He. Which is it? I gotta figure out what to name this thing. Oh, it's a her. It's a her? Alright. Well, we'll figure out her name later. But I gotta get the title swapped and plates on it and... Then we'll take a look at it and all the things I have to do to it. I am kind of, kind of excited about it. Like, really excited, actually. I can actually see out of this thing. Yeah. It's so, cool. so backing up and... Parking and everything has been great. I cannot park the AT4 for crap. It's so hard, even with all the cameras, it's just so big. This thing, you can see everything. It's amazing, you sit so high up in it. You see everything around. And I pull into a parking spot and I feel like I'm like flint stoning the car into it. <laughs> like I can like see everything, it's great. Do you still want to go to Albemarle? It's a bit of a halt. There is a, apparently a really good ABC store in Albemarle. Ooh. Are we making some detours or do you really have to get back? I think we need to go see some military equipment. Ooh. We should look at some military equipment too, but do you have so, time for ABC yeah. as well? Sure. I don't really need to spend more money on whiskey because I did just buy a car and I just bought a lot of whiskey last week and cigars and a stroller. Another one? And another baby monitor and basically hemorrhaging cash. <laughs> you know, no big deal. This guy back here in the back seat is actually kind of sort of the guy that talked me into buying this thing, but also the guy that got me both offices. Yes. So thank you. Yep. Especially Absolutely. for the new one. The old one, uh, it worked. It, it got was, us by. This is a good budget. It was a very good budget. Uh, the new office is nice. Nice. Love to have done something with like a deuce and a half or not a five ton. A five ton truck's just too much, but like some sort of military truck like this. Maybe even an old Humvee, but they're just they're big and heavy. They're still badass though, and I think eventually I'll have one, even though I have no plans for what to do with it. But this place looks pretty sweet. Look at this. Is this where you turn in? Yeah, anywhere in there. Pretty good. What you think? It actually did. It drives yeah. really nice. It's a pretty smooth ride. I heard a couple of rattles, a few things, but I think I think I did okay. <laughs> Should I buy a five ton? Uh, I don't know if Alex would be uh, think, okay with that. I think there there are two YouTubers, so I know Matt from Demolition Ranch just bought one, but somebody else just bought a five ton as well. These things are massive. This Look at those wheels. This is this is the kind of thing you like to see. Door locked. Call Jim Henry. It's like written in permanent markers. <laughs> That's amazing. Can I overland that? Uh, what do you think? Above land. 
Above, well, not so much over. It is over. Above is over. There's plenty of room up there for a rooftop tent. Hey, here, it's an M416. I wonder what he wants for that. Like, seriously, legitimately, I wonder what, wonder what he wants for an M416. Uh, I have one of these, you guys know, but it is uh, camouflage and has the tent on the top and everything. Put your arm on the tires. This is huge. Send that to JB. Look what I just bought. <laughs> so tired oh my god well that only took wow that took five hours <laughs> we seriously the, we went to the dmv <laughs> it took five hours oh my god yes yeah, 3 30 we left you got to his office at like 10 something yeah like at a little after 10 <laughs> to be fair we left and then decided hey we should probably grab the camera so we we're already headed towards the DMV, which we went way out of the way to get to the DMV. Uh, and then we came back to get a camera and then went back. Uh, yeah, there's a DMV like 10 minutes from here. And we went to one that's like 30 miles away. Because they had a better ABC store. Well, yes. I'll show you. As anybody who watches the podcast knows, the ABC operations around this area suck. There's no good options and uh, the one out in Albemarle at least has Ardbeg Wee Beastie, which is not something that I could normally find around here. Uh, Jeremy had to send me this bottle. So that ABC store out in Albemarle was really nice. There was also that cool little uh, army surplus vehicle junkyard thing we went to. I don't even know what it was. Jim, what was his name? Uh, it was on the door too. Yeah, called Jim. Jim Johnson? No. No. To call Jim Henry. Yeah, it was. It was a little weird. Um, and the guy. Oh, is this six by six or so? You don't need to buy any more things. <laughs> Maybe I do. It looks to me like it's for sale. You putting your side by side up for sale? That's not the six by six. That one's the one that actually runs okay. How much? Okay, can't do that. Section 179 depreciable. Yes. It will depreciate my bank account too much, so. Okay, you have to pay half. What? You have to pay half, they're so gonna send you a stimmy check, so you're good, dude. That is true. Hey, I think Spinny will go in half these too, right? Uh, $11,700 I'm, I'm a broke college boy, so. That sounds like a yes to me. Sure. You're telling yourself you can't. Okay, so I did buy something, as I told you guys earlier. We're gonna go look at it. We're gonna take a look, a little, 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 little look. Words. Sick. You want any more of your drink? No. Okay. Their sweet tea kind of tastes like booty hole. And you know that because... Don't worry about it. needed to be on a pedestal right so that's it this is the Land Rover this is a 2000 Land Rover Discovery 2 and I bought it yesterday for the fine price of $4,000 uh, <laughs> runs no check engine lights or no three amigos issues no issues whatsoever so far other than cosmetic which is okay because I want to upgrade everything so uh, We've got a little bit of cracking on the bumper. All of these, like if you find any like early 2000s Rovers, they all have these cracked plastic bumpers and grills. The rear bumper is cracked too. Uh, the guy I bought it from took it off-roading not long before I bought it and uh, ran into a four-wheeler. Some chip paint and stuff, but for this to be 21 years old, this thing is in really good condition. Look at this. I'm going to show you the, the engine. There. If I can find that. Look at that. 
This is ridiculously clean. There's some mud. <laughs> That's it. Like uh, new head gasket. A little ding here and a cracked tail light things here and there but that's you know cracked bumper but you're probably asking why I bought this so a little like nine months ago I guess I made a video talking about my new truck which is the Sierra 84 turbo diesel blah 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 uh, that was supposed to be my adventure rig and I can't do anything with it there's nothing for the bed I found a bumper I really like for it doesn't work with the diesel version everything I've tried to do to the AT4, at least on the outside, and making it more overland-esque or more overland-capable. I don't know. I've not been able to do. These, however, are a ridiculously solid platform for customizing. They do have a lot of quirks. The electrical issues abound. <laughs> um, there are some mechanical things to look out for. This one does not seem to have any of those issues. It's a project truck, so I'm expecting issues. But I think for what I paid and how well this thing is, is running, uh, I feel like I did a pretty good job. It's also clean up under here. No rust or really anything, it's just a little dirty. This thing is really, it's really quite nice, honestly. It's, I'm very impressed with it. But here's one of those issues I was talking about, right? Unlock it, it's definitely unlocked, but the back door doesn't work. I read about this and I think there may be an easy fix, but what I have to do currently to get into the back is to climb through. <laughs> <laughs> latch. Like I said, it's ridiculously clean for a 21 year old vehicle. I mean, you got some dirty spots, some stuff that can be cleaned up. Well, up front, there's a lot of pro broken plastics and stuff. The headliner, he said he got it replaced, but it doesn't look like it was done super well. But I've got an idea for that too. I'm thinking I might replace all that and make it all Velcro. Didn't really know what to expect when I went yesterday to pick this thing up. Uh, not a lot of space back here. But, I mean, it works. Jordan rode with us and had no problems, but uh, if I want to take the kids in this thing, I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, two car seats in here. Does not look like it leaves a whole lot of space. But this goes in. This goes up. Got a third seat in the middle. You know, it could work. It could work. So up here is probably the worst part of the whole truck. I mean, it's seen a lot of road miles. Uh, it's got over 200,000 miles. So no stranger to the road, that's for sure. Nobody's uh, mistaken this thing for being new or like new or gently used, but it does seem to be in great shape. But up here, you can tell there's been a lot of miles put on this thing. A lot of wear here, a lot of these plastic panels have pop loose like this cover for the gear shift has is loose this thing falls out all these are really worn um, the whole instrument cluster cover comes off so uh, I'm gonna be ordering and replacing a lot of these like loose components that I would deem functional I'm not gonna replace this broken cup holder because it's useless anyway but there's ones that you can get that mount down here Probably not going to do much with this. I might try to just fasten this myself. I will probably replace this panel though, because this, every time you like lean against this, this thing shoots out and it's kind of annoying. But yeah, this is the new project truck and I'm really excited. So let's talk about what I'm going to do to it, especially on the outsider specifically. Re re regarding the outside. <laughs> so I first got the idea to do a discovery off-road or overlanding build uh, a couple of weeks ago and I've been looking for them basically every waking minute or every free minute that I've had for a few weeks and this one popped up and it looked clean 
The problem is a lot of them have a lot of work done already and I didn't want to just walk into a turnkey option. I wanted to build one myself. And after I decided that most likely I was gonna go with a Land Rover, um, I found another YouTube channel by the name of Dirt Lifestyle. And he has a Discovery 2 build that is killer. He did a one ton axle swap. He's done, I think like a six inch lift on his. He's got racks and uh, rock sliders and bumpers and winches and everything. So I'm gonna do the usual, right? I'm gonna have to replace both of these bumpers because they're cracked all to hell anyway. Um, I'm probably gonna do a two inch lift at the very least. There is an upgraded suspension from Terra Firma that will add about two inches of ride height and that creates clearance for some bigger tires but also accounts for the additional weight of the bumpers. So bumpers are gonna happen. Uh, the roof rack that I'm gonna go with most likely will be the slimline front runner roof rack like all of them it mounts to this trim piece here and it is very very tight to the roof line of the truck which is what i really want and then on top of that i will have a rooftop tent i haven't decided which one yet eye camper roof nest those are most likely the two brands that i'm going to be looking at because they offer hard shell very slimline hard shell i want to keep this thing short i don't like very tall vehicles and this thing already feels tall because you ride so high in it uh, so what else we've got suspension bumpers rack uh, i'll probably swap out all the headlights and taillights for led because these are very dim i rode this thing around last night and it was not great the headlights are very dim very very warm too i'm gonna upgrade those obviously with the roof rack i'll do a light bar if I go with a certain tent, I'm not sure which one, but if I go with a certain one, I will probably also put solar on top of that with a double battery setup. And then around back here, see, I'd like to maintain the seats, but if it's just gonna be me and maybe one other person, I don't know that I need the second row of seats and I could remove them for more storage. Uh, here, back here, we're gonna have obviously a refrigerator setup, uh, maybe a little drawer system, I've seen, and Dirt Lifestyle did this, this the guy's name is Nate, uh, I saw him and a couple of other people with these builds, they take out this whole panel, replace this with aluminum, and they turn this into like a portable kitchen, or like a, a compact kitchen, I guess is a better way to put it. Uh, and Nate also did door swaps for these rear windows, which is really cool, because they're not really helpful in terms of like drivability, you don't, nor you don't normally see out of these because they're so far back so you're looking out of the rear passenger windows not these when you're like backing up and stuff so these he turned into doors so you can access the cargo without having to open up this big door which is really neat and i think very utilitarian so i think that's another change i'm going to make but basically i'm going to turn this into a dedicated travel rig and maybe possibly keep my truck i don't know i haven't really figured out what to do with that but I wasn't joking about wanting to travel and camp and tr drive and overland and go off-roading and uh, the truck just didn't work out. I made the wrong call there. Not much I can do about it other than get a different truck or, you know, find a different way around the hurdle. But this is my stopgap solution. I mean, I've always wanted a, a dedicated overland rig and I didn't want to do just another Tacoma or another 4Runner. I really wanted a Land Cruiser like an FJ60, but they're just so expensive. And these are affordable, they're quirky, they have problems, but that's okay. I'm gonna just power through and uh, turn this into a really sick overlanding truck. Uh, the last thing I think is a wrap. I think I wanna do a wrap on this thing of like, maybe a, a dark matte gray with my logo on it and some topo or something. I don't know, I haven't gotten that far, but this this is the discovery too and i'm super super excited to to start working on it. i didn't even think about it before i bought this uh as with most things i buy i don't put a lot of thought into it ahead of time so this has a two inch receiver and that means that i can pull my off-road trailer with it as well so this has a, a towing capacity of 7700 pounds i believe my trailer is a quarter ton trailer so i think that should be no problem whatsoever. Yeah, I don't trust the bumper either. <laughs> it's, it's cracking under my oh my, oh my god. Oh god. I've made my first bit of damage. <gasps> it broke. Well, it's already cracked. 
it's just a plastic this is the actual bumper 